Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring the medication known as Zadigo, with its generic name being safanamide. As always, this discussion is for educational purposes. For any health-related concerns or questions, please consult a medical professional. Zadigo, or safanamide, belongs to the drug class of dopaminergic anti-Parkinsonism agents. It functions as a monoamine oxidase inhibitor type B, MAOB, enhancing the duration of dopamine activity in the brain. Dopamine deficiencies in the brain are linked to Parkinson's disease. Zadigo is administered alongside levodopa and carbidopa to manage wearing off episodes in Parkinson's patients, which can manifest as muscle stiffness or loss of muscle control. Zadigo is not suitable for individuals with severe liver disease. It's imperative to inform your doctor about all medications you're currently taking. Some medicines can lead to unwanted or even fatal effects if taken within 14 days before or after Zadigo. Zadigo should not be taken if you have an allergy to safanamide or if you have severe liver disease. It's crucial to avoid certain medications 14 days before and after taking Zadigo, such as amphetamines, certain cough medicines, and other MAO inhibitors. Before starting Zadigo, inform your doctor if you have a history of liver disease, blood pressure issues, mental health disorders, unusual urges, eye problems, or sleep disorders. The effects of Zadigo on pregnant or nursing mothers are not fully known, so it's essential to discuss with your healthcare provider if you're in these categories. Like all medications, Zadigo can have side effects. Some individuals may experience vision changes, uncontrolled muscle movements, confusion, hallucinations, seizures, or significant blood pressure changes. There might also be increased urges, such as gambling or heightened sexual desires. Common side effects include involuntary muscle movements, falls, nausea, and sleep disturbances. Always consult your doctor about any unusual symptoms or side effects. Zadigo can interact with other medications. It's vital to inform your doctor about all current medications, supplements, and herbal products to prevent adverse interactions. Always follow your doctor's prescribed dosage for Zadigo. Typically, the initial dose for Parkinson's disease is 50 mg orally once a day. Depending on individual needs and tolerability, this may be increased to 100 mg orally once a day after two weeks. It's essential to note that Zadigo should always be taken in combination with levodopa and carbidopa. While on Zadigo, and for 14 days after stopping, it's recommended to avoid foods high in tyramine, such as pickled foods and certain meats. Consuming tyramine while on Zadigo can dangerously elevate blood pressure. Also, some patients have reported falling asleep during daily activities, so it's advised to avoid driving or operating machinery until you're sure of how Zadigo affects you. A common question about Zadigo relates to dietary restrictions. It's essential to avoid foods high in tyramine, such as aged or fermented meats, while on this medication. For any specific queries related to Zadigo, always consult with a healthcare provider. That concludes our overview of Zadigo. As always, this information is for educational purposes and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for joining us.